Hello, and welcome to this video on fusel alcohols. Fusel alcohols are also called fusel oils in Europe. The word fusel originates from a German word referring to a rough translation of bad alcohol. When used in the context of brewing, it generally encompasses methanol and isopropanol. There are other alcohols that come under the term fusel. These include amyl alcohol, isopentyl, isobutyl, and then propyl alcohols. The origin of these has been largely covered in the brewing byproducts video, but the properties have not been properly described, and what benefit there might be from these alcohols. To begin with methanol, the toxic and undesirable elements have been described, but less attention was given to the desirable aspects of methanol. To summarize the problem, methanol is highly toxic, somewhat simple to accidentally produce, and derived from the same pathways as ethanol. These three points lead to the accidental production of methanol in solution with ethanol. As little as 10 milliliters of pure methanol can cause permanent blindness, and 30 milliliters can be fatal. You can use the methods described here to limit the volume of undesirable products. But clearly, it is not difficult and it is a considered problem if it does occur. All of this is not to say methanol is bad in every context. This summary from Wikipedia of methanol properties gives an idea of why it is of benefit. It has a large body of known properties, being weight and price, boiling point, solubility, and a spectrum for excitation and emission, and finally the polarity. As was described in the HPLC video, the polarity of methanol is important as a research tool and lab reagent. Solubility is related and similarly important in research and industry. The capacity of methanol to both dissolve other compounds and be dissolved is very useful. This makes it an excellent bridge between two compounds which may not normally be miscible. The established and clearly distinct boiling point builds on these by allowing the removal of methanol at a point distinct from other common reagents, and especially solvents. It can be added to a process and later removed in some cases, even where the boiling point has to be artificially reduced through the use of a vacuum chamber. Finally, there is the weight. It is distinct in weight from other common solvents. Despite that and all the other features, it is reasonably cheap. Much like methanol, isopropanol is a cheap fusel alcohol and has wide applications in industry and households. Because isopropanol is a cheap and readily mass-produced fusel alcohol with an obvious pungent odour, it has a place as an antiseptic, disinfectant and detergent. Isopropyl alcohol has a strong odour which is not desirable in brewing but is useful in industry. If you mix isopropyl alcohol and a wide variety of other compounds, it will dissolve. Good examples are vinyl, oils, and gums. When it is used as a disinfectant, the strong odor disencourages people from drinking it. Unlike methanol, isopropyl alcohols form an azeotrope with water. This is like ethanol, and as a consequence, it has a similar boiling point of 80 degrees centigrade. It still has a specific absorbance for spectroscopy. These features make it useful. Among the more relevant uses of isopropanol is the lack of miscibility with salt solutions. This is pronounced in the phenyl chloroform extraction of RNA. Its adaptation of the more standard ethanol methodology allows the precipitation of lower RNA concentrations. These two alcohols are perhaps the better known of them. But there are others, and these come under the general category of amyl alcohol. Amyl alcohol incorporates eight different alcohols which are related. These include the remaining alcohols on this list. Amyl, bar anything else, is an unpleasant smelling alcohol that readily it burns. It reacts with other common organic compounds like butyric acid and acetic acid. These reactions create the smell of apricots and banana. Amyl alcohol is a simplified chain 
and this is why it is useful. This rather simple chain-like structure creates an isomer. Isopentyl is an example of these isomers. For now, the term isomer can be simply defined as a rearrangement of the molecule, much like an anagram. Like isopropanol, isopentyl can be used in the phenylchloroform method and it has applications in microbiology tests. Unfortunately, the next variation on the amyl groups is isobutyl alcohol, which is very similar in its uses to methanol as a fuel, solvent, and reagent. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a great many other uses. The next variation, and this is the last, is n-propyls. This being the final group of amyl alcohol subsidiaries, it doesn't have as many uses as the others. What it does have is a significant ability to be a precursor reagent to other, more useful chemicals. One of these is amyl acetate. Amyl acetate is widely used in industry, especially for lacquer. These are six of the common fusel alcohols that are produced when brewing and are considered waste products. This is true, but it does not limit their use elsewhere, and these can in fact be very important chemicals. These are products that are not normally generated as a byproduct, but due to the need for purity and the application that they are made for, they are normally a specially produced, normally synthetically made product that is absolutely pure and will not fail up machinery or provide bad results. Thank you for watching this video. If it has been of interest, consider liking, sharing and subscribing. Please post any comments, questions or suggestions below.